even if you and you go to the same damn gym and you do something different, you do something different, there's no reason you can't encourage each other. But you figure out what works for yourself. And because and, I train it, when I do the strongman stuff, one like one guy, Wesley, he's a pro, right? He, he only does main movements in his garage, and he's a professional strongman. You have Mark Bevins, the guy I train with, who's 43. He's like a three time Masters national champion. He goes to LA Fitness every morning and then does strongman and squats. He does squats at LA Fitness and does strongman on Saturdays, and he's really strong. I mean, everyone has a different way to do it, and what works for you is not going to be the one that works for the other, so figure out what works for you. But that's part of the process of learning a family. Yeah. And, and yeah, like I said, enjoying it. And all the. And there are <coughs> multiple. You know, just look up periodization on the, on the internets and, and, and Amazon, and you'll find a lot of different resources, but as much as you read, the more you need to actually do. Any other questions? If, if you, one last one. And, and if, uh, if feel free to drop me a line any other time, or if you want to, if anyone ever wants to talk. Say if uh, you're at Citadel and the cable machine is a little bit subpar. Uh, <laughs> do you have any <laughs> any good suggestions for uh, you know, rear delt work that you can do? Get it, okay, here's, yeah. Uh, band pull aparts. Right? Mm -hmm. So so your elbows are almost straight. You're doing your band pull. You're coming together to where there's no slack in the band, so you shouldn't see slack. And remember, just because you grab, if you grab a high tension, uh, a band with a lot of uh, tension on it, all, what do you do? All you do is put your hands out wider, but then it limits the range of motion. So if you grab one with less tension, you move your hands in, that may be more benefit. So know your bands. Uh, band or band face pull. So you hook a band up to a, a cable or a, a standard, and you either, in your here, just pull in and just pull back right. Some people actually come and do a little external rotation. Um, and you can also just grab a pair of dumbbells or a pair of plates you know, set your back and do scap retraction. You might just need to be more scap work. Like a lot of football players in rugby or soccer are very trap dominant. Like when you, like, so when they'll do rowing machine, rowing machines even, like they'll be, they'll do this and they'll shrug their shoulders because they don't know how to have scap depression and scap retraction. So, and especially when you bench, when you bench, you don't need a bench up here, right? <laughs> so you need to be down, you need to depress and retract. So when you're benching, you're in this position. So doing some postural work just may be where you get in a uh, plank position, so you're on the ground, do a plank position, and you just do scap push-ups. Push-up, um, push-up retraction, protraction, just to teach how your, your scaps, that's why push-ups are good too, because your scaps are freely f flowing, even though I think when you bench, you should have your scaps together. So allow your scaps to have some retraction. Dumbbells, so you can just do a unilateral dumbbell, so lock it in here, and just be in this position to where you're just trying to take the dumbbell away from you, so get a long arc. Right, and uh, a lot of other stuff of any kind of back movement still going to use your posterior delt, maybe as a secondary muscle or something. Right, any other kind of rowing machine or rowing exercises. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah feel, feel free to drop me a line if you guys want to or anything. All right, we're all good.